Hello, my dear viewers and my dear students. Welcome to my channel, Science and Gyan. As you know from the screen, the topic is there: fluid mosaic model. Today we will discuss the same, and this model is also known as liquid mosaic model. Before proceeding it, please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share the video. If you feel the videos are very useful, please do share with your classmate and your colleagues. Fine. I believe it's good to be spread the information if we have. Okay, now we will start. But what is the fluid mosaic model? And don't forget my channel is Science and Gyan, right? Or you can uh, follow me through Instagram as well as through Facebook also. Okay, now we start. Uh, the model is fluid mosaic model, and this model is also known as liquid mosaic model. Brief content of this lecture. Uh, today we will discuss introduction why it is called fluid mosaic or liquid mosaic model. Then we discuss the composition and the uh, material that are used to compose this fluid mosaic model: phospholipid, protein, carbohydrate, and cholesterol molecules. We, uh, if you are already subscribed my channel, you know that in that we discuss all about the bio, uh, biochemistry in detail. You can save that playlist. You can enjoy all the lecture. Fine. Okay. Now we will start fluid mosaic model. This model is proposed by Singer and Nicholson in nineteen seventy two year. You know how old it is. Uh, we believe that now we are in modern era, but it is not like that. Previous time also, the scientists they worked very hard to discover the new thing and they proposed the hypothesis. Why it is called fluid mosaic or liquid mosaic? Because mainly it is composed of plasma uh, plasma membrane that the uh, that are the main component of mosaic that include phospholipids. Cholesterol, uh, cholesterol, protein, and the carbohydrate, and all the proportions of these biomolecule, uh, like protein, lipids, and carbohydrate, they vary with the cell type. And generally, they are in liquid form. That's why it's known as a liquid or the fluid. Fine. <clears throat> I repeat. Mosaic. The main component of mosaic are phospholipid, cholesterol, protein, and the carbohydrate. All they compose together to form fluid mosaic or the liquid mosaic. Now we come to the introduction and the uh, uh, and the brief description of each and every component. Phospholipid. As we know, what do you mean by phospholipid? It it is a combination of two terms. Sorry. Sorry. It is a combination of two terms: phospho plus lipid. And mainly the uh, fabric of the membrane, they are amphiphilic or dual loving in nature. What do you mean by amphiphilic? Amphiphilic mean generally they <coughs> they possess both character hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic. Hydrophilic mean hydro mean water, philic mean loving. Hydro mean water, phobic mean fearing. They phospholipid. They are very smart. We will. Uh, I will share the structure with you also. Uh, it has a two. Uh, two. Uh, one is a tail. Other is a head. The head is that is a water filling, and the tail is water filling, and vice versa. Fine. Hydrophilic region. They form hydrogen bond with the water. It means they are the tail is. The tail is hydrophilic, right? The membrane surfaces the face interfere in interior and exterior of the cell that that are termed as hydrophilic. Now you can see from the structure it is clearly visible. I will like to highlight it. Now you can see. Now you can see. This is a hydrophilic head. Hydrophilic head. As we discussed earlier,
as we discussed earlier this one here we discussed that hydrophilic is the uh, head now you can see this is a head fine this one is a head and this is a tray <coughs> this head is hydrophilic so it love the water and tail are they love the lipids that's why the structure is such that the hydrophilic that the, uh, the head one they expose to the exterior of the cell membrane or the interior of the cell membrane or we can say that it is like have you ever seen the match box in the match, uh, match box the classical example of this fluid reset model you can see <coughs> match stick on to their top there is a head and the tail one the top one that is the hydrophobic no the tail one is a, the exterior one, the uh, long one that is a hydrophobic and the uh, top <coughs> that is in the round shape that is a hydrophilic. <coughs> and it also have carbohydrate chain. You can see this is a carbohydrate chain. <coughs> carbohydrate means <coughs> it contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And it also have glycolipids, then glycoprotein. And this is a protein structure. And this is an inter internal surface membrane. Fine, now you can see. Fine, this is a phospholipid. Sorry, leave it here. This is a phospholipid bilayer. <clears throat> By why it is known as bilayer? Bilayer mean you can see it. They have two layer. Bi mean two layer mean layer. <clears throat> then the hydrophobic tail. This is a hydrophobic tail. That's why they have. Uh, they they are supposed to have amphiphilic crack. Amphiphilic mean they have both character water loving as well as the lipid loving okay next is the protein you know what is protein we already discussed when we discuss the biomolecule. In that case, we discuss the protein also. Protein, they are second major component. First component, the phospholipid. Second was the protein. They are integral, jelly protein, they present as a integral pro, uh, part of the membrane or the module. They, jelly, they are integrated completely into the membrane structure. Next is the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate are the third major component and it always found on the exterior surface of the cell. You can uh, use, uh, you already seen, for example, if I take, uh, okay, if, if my, uh, so, uh, okay, if uh, this is my hand, fine. This is the exterior layer and this is the interior layer, fine. The carbohydrate they are present on the top top of the membrane. You can see this is the carbohydrate, right? They are present on the exterior layer of the membrane of the cell. Next, the cholesterol molecule. Cholesterol molecule they stuck in the membrane and makes the membrane more stable. That's why uh, that is the reason why the membrane they are stable due to the presence of cholesterol molecule. It prevents it from solidifying when your body temperature is low. For example, we are feeling very cool, uh, we are feeling very hot. Like it's not like that our uh, cell membrane they just solidify it. No, due to the presence of cholesterol molecule. This is my reference. If you want to uh, know more detail about fluid sac model, you can open this reference. This is the PDF page only. Any other information, if you like to have, you can message me. You can follow me through Instagram as well as Facebook. I'm available on the both social side. Or you can contact me through uh, LinkedIn also and many more sites. Thank you so much. Stay blessed, happy learning, and don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.